what's up thank you for tuning thank you for tuning in to another episode of me Sh- meet the shoe shackle history unleashed this week we're getting into <laughs> Black women submission, right? Submission versus white supremacy. First, we're gonna start off with Don Lemon getting fired. Oh God. Don Lemon got fired yesterday. And um, I don't really see myself watching CNN. What do you think? I Shade? usually watch CNN, but um Don Lemon, he usually come with facts, you know, he Definitely. pretty much knows his history. Yes. Um, I've never seen him to, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he's assertive. He's assertive right. man. Um, mm-hmm. I like his show. You know, I, I've, I haven't had any problem with fact check, checking him because his right. facts is pretty on top. He's um, on point. He's on point, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And even when Chris Cuomo was on there, both of them would go right. back and forth and it just had me laughing because right. they, tell, they tell the truth. They speak from the hip, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, like, definitely. They from the hip, they shoot from yes. the hip. And yes, they do. And just don't like that. Some people don't right. like um, people being men, especially a black man anyway, being right. as assertive as he is, and he coming forth strong. And that conversation he had with the, was it a representative? He was an Indian American guy. Right. He was talking about the N- NSR uh, and black people um, obtaining guns and so forth. And I think what the NRA, up, yeah. NRA, I think yeah. what messed up Don Lemon is when he said, you can't tell me about me. I, I live black. I'm being, being black. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell me yeah. nothing about my uh, nation, where I'm from. I don't mm-hmm. whatever your nationality is, you can't tell me. You know what I'm saying? And right. he's like, I'm Indian American, and I think that's where the problem started, right? I mean, what that that that, right that main there. word, whatever that's nationality word. you are, that's yes. what did it right there. That main yeah. blame blank statement, right? Yeah, I think that um, the, the world is getting too emotional. Exactly. Too emotional. Just, there yeah. was no reason. There was another um, news channel of um, younger journalists, right, mm-hmm. that have um, they're um, on a show called The Heel, I think. Okay. But um, I don't under I don't know what uh, station they're on, but I just seen it on YouTube, a clip of them on YouTube, and they were discussing. It was a black um, woman and a white man, and they were discussing the the conversation between Don Lemon and the other representative, um, uh-huh. the Native American guy. Yes, and um, the what what they were stating was 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 true. Um, you can't tell somebody that is uh, of that nationality a fact about right. their culture when they're sitting there telling you just like that man was representing Native Americans, but he didn't. The, everyone has been looking up the information that he was stating about the NRA, right? right. That mm-hmm. didn't have anything to do with what Don Lemon was talking about. He brought yeah. that in as just to say, like, he tried to make an excuse to say he should be able to speak as a, as a person, as a human being, we should be able to speak about some pro- somebody's nationality. That's like a man trying to tell me how to be a woman or me trying to tell a man how to be a man. I can't do that, right? Yeah. And so with them two being combative in a situation about culture, that's really what right. they were talking about. Each mm-hmm. personality, it, it, it didn't make sense. I don't think that him being fired was called for. It was just... A card for them. They they they, they were waiting to pull the card. They were well, they waiting fired, to pull the card um, because. Tucker Carlson. I think that was just yeah. Close. So they were waiting to pull that. They they were waiting to pull the card for that. When they see Tucker Carlson was being fired, they fired him on the same day. So a black man yeah. and a white man gets fired from two major stations, right? Yes. Both of them very popular. So they're, what they're showing, what was it to show people that it can happen to you too? You can't just say anything. Well, what's the point in even talking? Right. Right. The amendments don't stand anymore, right? No, they don't no. stand, really. It, it's not making it, it's not making any sense to us as being citizens, right? American right. citizens. That that's what they were paid for, right? What was his salary? 
Uh, oh, Don Lemon family. Four, oh, Don Lemon made four million a year. Okay. Besides, probably he might have made more. You know, doing going on special assignments. Like mm-hmm. Yeah, he went on special assignments, so he make up to ten million a year, right? He could, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Do you think that man would throw that away? He knows what he should or should not say. He's been on there for years. But you know what? Inside, the, you know, behind closed doors, they were having rumors about him being a diva, diva Mm -hmm. diva-like attitude and saying little Mm -hmm. stuff because I think he said something about another uh, woman that came on, said she was past her prime. You know what I'm saying? And that kind of, you know, they were being... One but if you're representing, people. if you if you want to be a representative, how the, your your skin got to be tough. Yeah, you you're you're worried about being past your prime, honey. You're worried about that. That's not making any sense. That's yeah, nothing. You if you're President representing Trump, people, yeah, President Trump said more than that to a, a woman that was running for president. Remember, he said she ugly. Exactly, and all, and she was past her prime, low key. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. So are you I what 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 is it coming to? Are you gonna continuously use the emotion for politics? It's no place for you. It's no, no it's place. How can you represent the world? Right. Any of it. And then CNN, you 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 failed us as first of all, you failed us as the community community. Secondly, you failed us as even the as as the United States, as you one of the biggest you know, channels that we watch, right? Because of your diversity, right? We see a lot of ethnicity on CNN, right? More than, more, right. More than what we see on Fox News, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. And so by, by us, by us already trusting in you, now we're back to distrust and you CNN because there was you 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 cannot even there was no proven anything no. you you fire a man off of emotion but you know what you I didn't what, what the the other the, the the guest didn't the guest couldn't get reprimanded because he didn't work there but so you invite this person on the show and they could say anything but let me tell you something what could have happened behind closed doors? You know, they cl- they shook hands, seemed like everything was fine and dandy on camera. Right. Well, that representative, mm-hmm. who, that man probably went back there and complained and felt, oh, I'm so hurt. He, he didn't know my nationality and da, da, da. That could be a possibility too. He could have went behind and talked about Don, Don, I mean, Don Lemon to the staff, to the higher ups. Okay. For them to fight. Okay. Him. Okay. I mean, maybe that's true. We don't know. You know, these, know. these are all the things that, that, that people, these are, no, no, that you're right. These are all the things that people do, you know, because th- this, this happens in, co- in corporations, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. The man was there for 17 years. He don't stand. He, he, he's for the, the people love him. Yes. You will see your ratings drop in five, four, three, two, one. Because <laughs> yeah. I haven't watched it since when they said he's okay. fired. What's the point? I'm not watching it anymore. There's okay. nobody gonna say just like when Chris was on there, right? Yeah. When he was on there, I I I mean, after if Don wasn't on there, there's no point. There's the voice, your connection with the voice, your connection with the information. Mm-hmm. Even if it's a boring story, you're yeah. connected. Yeah, you're connected, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That, that, it, that's not too many people I, I don't watching, know. uh Poppy at all. I mean, she's a good reporter, but it's not the same. You know? I don't know. It's trust in it, and then it's trust. It takes you yeah. a long time to entrust in somebody to be committed, right? Yeah. That's the same. Look at what we're doing. We're journalists in the podcast world. We're we're right. feeding information. On a weekly basis, every Wednesday, we're consistent for the past five years, but consistent, consistent, three years. Okay, we're entrusted. Mm -hmm. People come and they ask and they send us stuff in our inbox constantly. Stories constantly for us to cover. Things that the people just want to come on and talk about things to get the word out. 
Okay. That don't come from anywhere. It takes no, no. time to entrust into people, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're a living yeah. witness of it. We're, yeah. we're, 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 we're in living of it. So, um, okay. The next thing is <laughs> black sexuality versus white supremacy. Our, our topic, that strong topic is black women are constantly judged on all platforms for everything, right? Yeah. We can't do nothing right. No. We walk out our door the wrong way or say the wrong thing. We're constantly being judged. There is not one other race mm -hmm. that is even sexualized the way that we are. The yeah. reason why this topic has to be talked about is because now the topic has been give the give the kids to the fathers, right? Mm. Give the kids to the fathers. When you give your kids to the fathers, they still have to come back to the mothers for organization, for consistency. Yeah. It has not. It's not man versus woman on a consistency level has been proven with children now is what right. I'm saying. With In the household, we do it the best. Mm -hmm. We do it the best. And I, and I, you know, we're right. And the, and, and the, and the sexuality part, there was a podcast where this guy was talking about the fingernails, right? Mm -hmm. He was, the, he was having a conversation stating that, we wouldn't be acceptance of a man raising our sons and allowing them to wear pink polish, but the boy still wanting women, not men. Well, everything in the world has been designed to sexualize and even on down to the colors, right? Okay. Soft colors is for women. Hard colors is for men, right? Blue yeah. is for boys. Black is for black is, you know, goes both ways. But, you know, black, blue, yeah, blue. brown, beige, all of that. All of those colors go with to boy, men. right? Yeah. Uh -huh. to, yeah. To, to men. OK. And then all of the soft colors go to women. Right. But when you see in 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 different forms that you see a man in a pink suit will think that's fly. It looks yeah. like a salmon color. We will, and, and, and even if it's hot pink, right? How he plays it is how we judge him. If we see a man in a in a hot pink suit and he has on Air Forces, we we we, we look at him as oh, that's raw, that's fly, right? Right. But if he has on a hot pink suit. And <laughs> he has like a church looking shoe. <laughs> <laughs> he has he has like a church looking shoe. He has his nails painted pink. Oh, yeah. And he has like, you know, a hat or some earrings on. What so do we we we, we sexual we we sexualize him as yeah. in being yes. you know. Yes. It, He's either, you know, he's a gay man, right? Right. We right. sexualize that. But when we see a woman and we see a woman, we see her in like, look at the shirt, the shirt I have on. OK, right. I have a, a, a hip hop, you know, Nike shirt on and okay. say I have my hair pulled back like this. Uh -huh. Right. And my hair is like this and uh -huh. I don't have on any and say I don't have on any earrings or I have uh -huh. my hair pulled back like this and uh -huh. I have on a hat. Right, a scully hat on, and just this. Then I have on some Timberland boots and some jeans. They would have sexualized me as a tomboy. Yeah, or a so, stud. Or a stud. I would yeah. be a gay woman, right? right. So that's yeah. the thing with black sexuality versus white society. White or... society, white supremacy, right? Uh -huh. And white supremacy, you can go. Majority of the time, you can go into a job and you can do all of that if you're white and It'll not be judged. You can get in and then not be judged. But if you're black, 
you got weave in your hair. They're constantly looking. You come in, they'll they'll talk about it. You could come in with your natural hair one day. You come in the oh, next yeah. day with this on. They're saying, "Well, your your hair grew in twenty four hours. Why girl. are you saying that? You would never yeah. say that to you would never say that to the white girl. No, or right. I could come. You could come to the um go to the party for a bit for like the um what is it called the work party right uh-huh. the company party the company gathering you might have on a top that you never you know dress away in a form that you never dress at work right a little sexy oh you got your everybody's want to grope you and everybody's sexualizing you looking you up and down looking at your butt and your breasts they don't do that to white women Mm-mm. As often as they do black women, right? Yeah. What, what black women are so sexualized on every level. We're judged of being fast. We're judged of, <laughs> right. we're judged that we got our booty out. We just got, you, you got too much makeup on. You wear too much makeup. Yeah. You got too much weave in your hair. Look at your eyelashes. On every level, we step out the door on a daily basis. We're yes. constantly there. As soon as we open our mouth, we could just be regular. I'm talking to you regular. Why do you got an attitude? Yeah. The person that's talking to you already is already on defense. Yeah. They already have an attitude. Yeah. So now we're starting to have to formulate ourselves down to where we're saying, hmm. How am I going to approach this? We really have to think it's life or death now when we talk on every level. Even when we go get a coffee, something simple is getting a coffee. And if we're dealing with the high dependent, you know what I'm saying? A person. We're constantly, constantly judged. Constantly. I know. And so um, I need it. A bunch of women, white girls that get weaves, and nobody ever ju- judged them or say anything about it. I mean, I've done extensions on a lot of white Hispanic women. Nobody judged them or say anything is fake or anything like that. I wear it. It's they fake. don't even question it. They don't question it. At they all. don't even question it. And when no. you when they okay, so by you being a beautician, you've been a beautician for years. By you doing multicultural. Sorry, guys, the internet. Mm-mm. One second, guys, we'll be right Okay, no, nah, keep on. Yeah. By you doing multi, by, by you doing multicultural people, right? By you doing that. D- do they tell you that people question them about their hair? Because they don't. I, no. I've never heard nobody say that. Oh, do you got weaving your hair? But you can see it. You know, we notice it. We notice it. We can right. clear. I we always know. hear my white friends say, "Oh, girl, I wear clips all the time." Oh, Nobody yeah. says anything. No, oh, oh, girl, I've had sex and my clips came out. <laughs> right. Okay. But you know what? They never question them because a lot of my friends, they like, oh, I'm getting extended. Get, let, let me get this kind of extension because nobody knows I'm wearing extensions. I'm like, really? I said, I know because I'm putting it in your hair. But a lot right. of uh, they, they, their friends or colleagues do not know they have extensions. I remember one time, I only way I saw Britney Spears with extensions is because mm-hmm. when she was performing on one of the, I think the Grammys or something like that, a years ago, she flipped uh-huh. her hair down and I said, oh, she got micros in her little micro uh, eye tips, but she probably had the U-tip version. It was called U-tips back then. I'm like, oh, she had U-tips in her hair. You know what I'm saying? Because right. I could see each individual piece. She flipped down and came back up real quick. I'm like, huh. Right. I said, they <laughs> always been wearing extensions. You know what I'm saying? To right. make their hair fuller. You know what I'm saying? Right. So right. I feel that, you know, a lot of men always um say, why you always gotta wear fake hair? And I'm like, hey, this is uh, just something we wanna if you look good, you know what I'm saying, you you feel good, you know what I'm saying? It's something you wanna we like to change our hair a lot, you know what I'm saying? I know I yes. like to change my hair a lot. I like to wear different things. So yes, I'm not gonna worry about what somebody say and 
sexualized, sensualized me. I'm, I'm going to wear my lashes one day. I'm going to take them off. Uh, right. Take them off in front of you and all. And feel good about it when they on and relax yes. when they off. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, this week, y'all, we're going to shorten it on up. We got to both Ooh, one uh, get going. Mm -hmm. One more thing. We need to be talking about Tasha K. Oh, now, yes. Okay, we're going to end on that. The is that Tasha yeah. K. Tasha K got sued by Cardi B. Cardi B okay. went back to the courts and she wants to take her possessions, of the things she owned. So she okay. uh, put a, a motion to seize assets now since she has not paid her. It's been about a year now. So right. it's time to seize assets now. Tasha okay. K may, is rumored to have a home in Florida and a couple mm. homes in Miami. Okay. Whoa. It's rumored that she's talking about moving to Africa, Morocco, so she okay. can leave and not have to pay Cardi B, which that does not happen like that. You know, people say, mm -hmm. oh, she's moving to Africa. No, it doesn't happen like that. She can't avoid paying this woman. It's already been in court. It's already been established. It's already been in in the settle that she has to pay this this amount. So she can move one to one too. She's still going to have to pay. <laughs> she's still got to pay. Now, her main source is sponsorship and YouTube. That's her main right. source of money. Mm -hmm. It's hard for it's hard for Cardi B to get her YouTube money, right? And but it's her source of income. So she's not going to slow down. The the reason why she's picking Africa is because Africa is a growing YouTube space, right? Mm -hmm. Cuz that's that's mm -hmm. where our um we were talking, we were discussing that earlier about our competitors are in Even um you know some of African right. and um so her competitor her she's competing with other people mm -hmm. that are in Africa. Why mm -hmm. she would go there to try and compete with her channel makes no sense to me when all of her content is for everything over here. So the people right. over there want to hear what she's saying over here, you know? Right. What she's saying over here about over here it makes no sense for her to go over there to try to talk about what they're doing those people are already established so my yeah. thing is just pay her. go on a payment plan yeah. that's the thing about uh, yeah, it exactly go on a payment plan yeah i don't, I don't know if she has four million or whatever i'm sure she would have been paid it right I but but the thing about it is she can she can she can go on a payment plan the thing about being at where us being journalists right being in a journalism space and talking about people she assassinated that woman's that mother's character right and yeah. putting out she didn't get she didn't oh. fact check it she didn't fact yeah. check it. Oh, if it was true it. if there was any truth to it she wouldn't be paying a dime Right. Even if there was a little right. bit of truth, there was no truth to it. There was no proof to it. So no. she has to pay. Yeah. So <laughs> when you don't shut your lip, what happened? <laughs> you got to dish out some cash, right? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You let your well, mouth. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you, guys. <laughs>